Here we go. So this is the, the first thing I did. I just made a real low poly version. Uh, I've got a bunch of reference art. You can find pictures of the sunshot all over the internet. Uh, the client sent me his own reference, and so I just used that. And here's the low poly version. Uh, you can see it's it matches the outlines of the gun as close as I could uh, without having any of the detailing. But that's the main shape. Uh, and that went pretty quickly. Uh, so there it is again from a few different angles. And then I started adding detail, and so I added the detail to the little side rail things. Got little holes in them, and uh, put that little detail up on the top. That one looked a little bit different from all the rest of the detailing. It looked like it was it was cut in with a like a ball end instead of a, a hard square end. But uh, then I just started working on the, the detailing on the handle, and I had a few false starts. But eventually... Uh, what what is this is this the oh the barrel yeah i made the barrel so then i made the barrel next a few false starts with the detailing and i went back and forth with the client about like is this really necessary because it's going to be a lot of work i didn't really plan on it being this much work and he couldn't really afford to pay me but eventually i ended up doing it anyway and so here it is uh just the handle part and uh i'll show you how that was done okay here we go so uh this is the sunshot without any of the detailing on it it's just the high poly version with all the the little doobly doos everywhere um, and the way I did the detailing was I, I took these and I made a copy of them and did a solidify and made a slight offset I think it was one millimeter thick and then I sliced all of them in so you can see these are just they're just hollow they're just hollow slices with um, solidify turned on and I, how did, I, did this actually work this way I, I remember there being a huge amount of work to get this to done I think I I was like taking these and sliding them into the corner and removing doubles cleaning them up so that they were nicer and eventually like over here no I didn't do that here either well on some of them where they were getting a little messy I cleaned them up I uh, could have cleaned them up a lot more, obviously, but I didn't because no one cares because it just needs to print. Um, anyway, so so these are all cut in, and those were sliced in with these. Ah, oh, the nightmare of slicers. So these are solidified uh, planes, and I, I tried a number of things, and this worked. I don't know if it worked. It would have worked the best, but it, it worked for me and so this is what I used um, I probably could have done it with a single thing and using a screw and extrude modifier but this this worked and so yeah like I said it is effective and there are 50 of these 50 objects there are 50 of them Ugh. it took so long it took hours and hours so so I started down here on the handle and oh, that, that one's missing I wonder if is it hidden no, it's not hidden. Anyway, uh, I worked on these. I, I basically I just kept adding. So I just kept adding them until the boolean started having problems, and then I I stopped, and I, and uh, I split it. So like I started working on so like this one is a thing, and I just split it off into a few pieces uh, until it stopped having errors. So like this is all one thing. And then all these radial, these are different radials from this one. I just kept going up until it started having errors, and I would split it off right before the errors started happening, and then just keep adding objects to the, the cutting planes. And this would have been easy enough. Well, I don't know. This would have been hard enough if it had just been, see, there's like one long plane that goes through the whole thing. So I did that one, and then I added these that are overlapping. It doesn't like to do overlapping intersections. Uh, I mean, neither do I, but yeah has problems with that so I found that if you have a bunch like these are all non overlapping so they work pretty well same with these that they don't overlap so anyway it would have been difficult enough to just put these in but they also had to match let's see is there a, a view is there a background I don't, know, I don't know how I did this there, I had a, a reference or a number of references with different cameras set up or something so I could see where they were so I could line them all up so that they looked right and uh, kept switching back and forth different modes and I think 
I forget if I applied it to this. This is definitely applied. Because it doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have any boolean. It's got like one. Oh, it's got the pivot. Yeah, it's got this pivot cut out. It's still active. Uh, right there. For the, for the pivot arm. But anyway, so I applied them as I was going so that it wouldn't have a whole bunch of booleans on the stack and then I would just duplicate the boolean and then apply it and then, you know, move on from the next the next thing. So anyway, that was a lot of work to get all that, that detailing done. But uh, it sure looks cool. There's got to be an easy way to do that, but I don't know. That's what I came up with and it worked and so I just powered through it and got it done. So anyway, that's the sunshot. It's finished. And uh, the the client is now working on making copies that you can sell. I think he's trying to cast them or something in resin. I, I don't know. But he's got a 3D printed version. I'll put the video of that up uh, after I'm done talking about what it did. So anyway, yeah, there it is. But eventually I got all the detailing finished. and And there you can see it next to the... Uh, the other one, the the reference art from the game. And that is almost finished. I don't know if I, did I end up putting, yeah, I did end up putting the, the stuff on the end. So I was just noticing that right here on the very end, uh, on the bottom jaw under the barrel, my son keeps telling me it looks like a shark. It's like, oh, yeah, it does kind of look like a shark. Anyway, just on, on the bottom jaw where it juts out there, there's like some detailing right on the very front, and I hadn't added it in this picture. But... I did in, so this is without the detailing. This is with the detailing. Oh, it's so beautiful. And there's a bunch of detailing underneath on the bottom that you can't see uh, in any of the reference art that I could find. So I don't know if that's actually there on the real thing, but it's there in my model. So uh, if you buy a copy of this gun from the guy who's making them, I'll put a link down in the description, then you will get that detailing unless he fills it in, because it's too much work to sand. Which I wouldn't blame him, because it was a lot of work to model. Oh, I'm tired just thinking about it. Hmm. Now, and then there's also the thing on the butt of the gun. I added that little thing there at the bottom. Uh, just because I figured it should be decorated, even if you can't see that either. I don't... Uh, there might be reference for that. Anyway, so there's some nice renders of it. And then the last thing was I added this mechanism. Uh, I did a different video about that one, so you can see how that was made. But uh, you can watch that video if you want to see it. But it's a, a little thing, you know, a cylinder pops out. And then, uh, and then that was it. That's the gun. That's the model. It's finished. There it is. to mention that there are a few places, uh, a lot of places really, uh, where I just didn't have enough reference to tell exactly what was going on. So like for this detail where it kind of fades out into the, the top of the gun, where there's a, a little channel here, but there's no channel up here and it's not clear what happens in between. Like I just kind of had to make that up. Um, I'm not associated with the, the makers of the game in any way. It, I didn't have access to any of their files or anything. so. This is all made from scratch, and uh, I probably made a lot of mistakes. And if you play the game a lot, you probably have seen things that I haven't, and you probably know what those mistakes are. So, um, if you have any improvement ideas or you know things where you think it should be different, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'd, I'd be happy to to take another look at this. Like I said, the the my client is. Um, is working on making commercial um, replicas or, or props or whatever of these. Um, so also, like, if you're from the game and you want to, like, sell these and I'm undercutting your profits or whatever, like, you know, just let me know. Actually, don't let me know. Let, let the other guy know because I'm not selling these. I, I'm already done. I'm already done with all the work. Uh, but, like, this hammer, 
uh, it wasn't clear how that went together and these little pips up here it wasn't clear how that all worked um, the iron sight up here wasn't wasn't obvious uh, there are a number of things where there's conflicting stuff or just missing like I said underneath here is completely missing um, the front of this it's some in some places it shows up with a, a feature on the front in some places it shows up with no feature uh, so this is pretty well documented because the player is always looking at this and so you can tell what's going on back here but then when you get up to like it's also not obvious if the other side of the gun is the same so it's possible that like the other side is supposed to have different decorations on it or something uh, that seems unlikely but yeah, who knows anyway uh, just wanted a disclaimer there that this is not a perfect replica it's, it's as close as I can make it with the reference that I had but I don't play the game and I don't follow leaks and stuff and I don't have an official um, model to work from so uh, it's entirely possible that if, I don't even know if they sell do they sell official anyway it's entirely possible that that there's better reference out there but um, I thought this was pretty good just from working from screenshots so anyway Super secret ending, shoulder-mounted sunshine.